Imagine a world where trust isn't built on promises, but on mathematics. Welcome to the blockchain, a technology transforming finance, data, and security. Today, we're diving deep into the math behind the blockchain. Not just the buzzwords, but the actual theorems, proofs, and mathematical principles that make it all work. Let's start with the basics. A blockchain is a decentralized ledger of sorts. Picture it as a public diary where everyone records transactions. Each block or entry contains three things, data, a timestamp, and a cryptographic hash. But what makes this so special isn't the blocks themselves, it's the math itself binding them together. A cryptographic hash function transforms input into a fixed length output. For example, the string blockchain becomes 23560AE6 and so on. Why is this so powerful? This is because of three key properties. First being determinism, meaning the same input always gives the same output. And next, collision resistance. It's practically impossible to find two different inputs with the same output. And lastly, irreversibility, meaning you can't reverse engineer the input from the hash itself. To understand irreversibility, consider this. A hash function maps a massive input space to a smaller output space. By the pigeonhole principle, collisions must exist, but finding one is computationally infeasible. Claude Shannon, the father of information theory, showed how entropy ensures security in cryptographic systems. Each block's hash is based on its data in the hash of the previous block. This creates a secure chain. If someone changes one block, however, its hash changes breaking the entire chain. This security relies on the avalanche effect, where even a tiny input change drastically alters the hash, a principle discovered by Horace Feistel. Watch what happens when we change one letter in blockchain. The hash completely transforms, breaking the chain. To add a block to this chain of blocks, miners solve a cryptographic puzzle. They do so by searching for a special number called a nonce. So the block's hash starts with a set number of zeros. This process relies on brute force and the difficulty scales exponentially. For n leading zeros, the probability of finding a valid hash is one over two raised to the n. Cynthia Dork and Moni Nair first proposed this concept of computational effort as a proof. For example, if n equals 5, then the probability would be 1 over 32. Also meaning that as n increases, success becomes exponentially more difficult. Public key cryptography secures transactions using one-way mathematical functions. One popular method is elliptic curve cryptography, based on equations like y squared equals x cubed plus ax plus b, as seen on screen. Points on these curves form a mathematical group. Adding points is simple. But reversing the operation, meaning solving a discrete logarithm, is computationally infeasible. And this method traces back to Andrew Weil's proof of Fermat's last theorem, which expanded elliptic curve theory. Its efficiency and security make it ideal for modern applications such as securing digital wallets and messaging systems. Here is a graphical representation of the two points on the curve, represented by P and Q. Merkle trees enable efficient transaction verification. Each transaction is hashed, and pairs combine to form parent nodes, culminating in a root hash. Verifying a single transaction requires checking only a logarithmic number of hashes. This hierarchical structure ensures that even a small change in one transaction cascades through the tree, altering the root hash entirely. This efficiency, based on binary tree properties, was formalized by Ralph Merkel in his 1980 thesis. In the animation, you can see how verifying a transaction only requires following a path to the root hash checking just a logarithmic number of hashes along the way. This process continues and continues, forming a binary tree of sorts until it culminates in a single root hash.
Zero Knowledge Proofs lets someone prove they know a secret without revealing it. This concept, formalized by Shafi Goldwasser and others, uses modular arithmetic and randomness to ensure security and privacy. Imagine this, you need to prove you know the combination to a lock without revealing it. The math represents properties of your knowledge while keeping the information hidden. Here's how. You enter a cave with two exits, path A and path B. The verifier stands outside and requests you emerge from a specific path. By consistently doing this correctly, you prove you know the secret path without revealing it. Therefore, the verifier is convinced and accepts. The blockchain is more than just a technological marvel. It's a mathematical masterpiece. Every link in the chain is built on the unshakable foundation of math ensuring trust in what truly is a trustless system. From cryptographic hashes that secure each block, to elliptic curves that protect your transactions, and even zero-knowledge proofs that guarantee our privacy, the blockchain transforms abstract theorems into practical tools. So, the next time you hear about the blockchain, I challenge you to think about the math behind it. Thank you for watching.